Hi, Candace. This is Jill. Hey, Jill, how are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for joining me this morning. My pleasure. You know, with over 77 million children and adults heading back to school soon, when's the best time to start shopping? Well, for school supplies, the best time really is now. We saw a lot of the school supply deals begin about three weeks ago. And one of my favorite strategies is kind of to shop those sales. You know, watch what's on sale each week at your favorite retailers and pick those things up when the prices are low. Because every year what we see happening is in that week before the kids get ready to go back to school, a lot of stores will actually raise their prices a little bit because they're going to take advantage of people that waited until the last minute. If you shop a little bit earlier now, you're going to save in the long run versus getting, you know, kind of nailed when, when the prices go back up. And the opposite strategy, in my experience, is true for clothing. I understand that the kids all want new clothes to go back to school in. I have three kids myself. But what I usually do is buy them a couple outfits, you know, to get ready for back to school, and then push the rest of my clothing shopping into September. Because as soon as we get past Labor Day, you're going to see a lot of those prices come down even more. Stores are going to be offering coupons for dollars off, percents off, for even bigger savings on the clothes. And where are the best deals? Well, for the physical supplies themselves, you, again, right now you're going to find them at the office supply stores, the drug stores, and things like that. The, the, what I call the crazy deals, the you know, quarter crayons, penny rulers, and things. But if your kids are a little bit older, you're going to see things on their list that they need, you know, like the graphing calculators, or they may want a laptop or a tablet computer. For things like this, I like to head to eBay. They've got incredible value and selection, and their main eBay mobile app will bring millions of new and hard to find items right to your fingertips on a smartphone or on a tablet computer. You can even shop from your favorite retailers like Best Buy who have a site within the site and this brings a lot of new and ready to buy items right to you at great fixed prices. I think that's really important when we're all on a budget and it lets you say hey this is what I want to spend for a calculator versus heading down to the store and saying okay well this is what they're charging today and this is what I have to spend. And what can we do to stretch the life of school supplies? Well, again, quality counts. You know, we are going to see some really great bargains out there. Every year I see the $5 backpacks, and I've been tempted and I've bought them. Usually the $5 backpack does not last all year long. So you kind of, you're, you want to replace it all year, or do you want to make a little bit larger investment and get something that will last? I'm always balancing price versus quality. And even for something as simple as a pen, you know, quality is important too. I like the Bic Atlantis ball pens. They feature the Easy Glide ink system, which is an exclusive ink technology for ultra smooth writing. What kids love about them. They're bright colors. They come in all different inks and they're just fun and stylish. It's also a great pen. It's something that's going to last them all year long and it doesn't cost that much more than maybe buying the no-name bag of cheap pens that might leak or dry out before the year is over. It's something that will last. What are some of the other must-have school items? Well, again, with the older kids, it's back to the gadgets, the laptop cushions, laptop desks, wireless mice. Some kids are requesting voice recorders, like an MP3 audio recorder, so they can record lectures in class. And another one that's popping up on lists this year, which may seem kind of unusual, is schools requesting printer paper and printer ink for the classroom, because, again, they rely on the parents a lot of times to supply the things for the class. Do you have any additional tips or information you'd like to share? For more info on everything we talked about today, you can visit supercouponing.com. Well, thank you so much, Joel. Have a great afternoon. Thank you.